So when you try and sort your data, you're getting a message about merged cells. Mm. To do this, all the merged cells need to be the same size. So how do we get around this error message? Well, the problem is, is that within one of your columns, you have values that are merged across multiple columns. But in one row, they may be merged across two columns. And in another row, they may be merged across three columns. So I can see here that this is the column that is probably the problem because I've got some blank columns here that these product IDs seem to be merged across. So what I need to do is select those values. And then on the home tab of my ribbon, I can see that this button has become activated, which is a sure sign that the merge has been applied to that column. So what I do is I go to this drop down button and I choose unmerge cells. So now I'm going to try and sort again and I still get this message. So if you still get the message, look outside the table and if you've got a heading directly above your data, it's probably merged across the width of the table. I can see that I've got one cell across the width of this table. So what I'm going to do is also unmerge that title. So now I'm going to sort by transaction value again. And it applies the sort, but it didn't sort the whole table, only sorted this area of the table. So I'll undo that. And this problem is caused by having now empty columns between your product ID and the rest of the table. And these empty columns no longer contain merged cells. So what I need to do is auto fit the product ID column, then select both of the empty columns and delete them. So now if I sort by transaction value, it sorts the whole table. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you next video.